Saturday evening in London, right? And I live in South London. So probably usually about, I don't know, about 30 minute drive to central London. And um, my partner, he loves going to the shops. He loves having a little mooch about the shops and going to a department store. And he loves going into town. In fact, one of the reasons we've not moved out of London yet is because him indoors, he loves, on a whim, just going to town and having a look around the shops. He, he doesn't like buying online. He likes going to the store. And we've got a couple of things we need to take back at the moment as well. I bought a picture frame and my word, you know when you buy online and you don't see how big something is? It's just this huge picture frame. It's the biggest thing I've ever seen. So we need to return that as well. It's glass, so we've got to be careful. Anyway, so he says to me last night, um, which he does quite often, he says, we fed the dogs. Do you fancy popping into town? We can have a bit of a mooch around. We can go to John Lewis and return the frame. We need to, maybe we could have dinner in town. And I thought, oh, that's quite a nice suggestion. That's a nice suggestion, isn't it? It is a nice suggestion. And we could take the dogs with us as well, because you can take the dogs to John Lewis and you can take the dogs into a lot of pubs and restaurants now. I'm not drinking, so I thought we could take the car. Absolutely perfect. Let's pop into central London. I went on Google Maps just to see how everything was faring when it came to the traffic. And it was this that I saw. Look at that. That is central London on a Saturday night. No entry, no entry, closed roads, no entry, no entry, no entry. I swear to God, it would be easier to teleport us to central London than attempt any kind of four-wheeled transport. Now, I put this online last night and the usual zealots were saying to me, well, why don't you cycle? Why don't you get on the train? Well, firstly, I'm full of cold and I'd really rather not traipse the streets of London trying to use public transport. But as I mentioned, we had a huge picture to take back. We had the two dogs. Trying to take my two girls on the train is not easy. And again, it was a, an early Saturday evening. We should be able to pop into town. But we can't because London was essentially closed. We are supposed to be the capital city of the United Kingdom and the repellent little runt has closed it. Who do I mean by the repellent little runt? Well, of course, it's our London Mayor, Sadiq Khan, who, of course, wants to close every single road in our city whilst being driven around himself in a five-litre Range Rover, which is, of course, armoured. He's quite happy to be driven around in a Range Rover whilst we're all stuck with closed roads. And, of course, any of the barriers and closed roads that are out there, he just drives through them in his Range Rover, or as I like to call him, Carbon Khan, because in the last 12 months, he has produced something like 80,000 tonnes of carbon. And I'm not talking about from his mouth, which, of course, is where you'd expect it to come from. I'm talking about the amount of times he himself has gone around the world. Why is our capital city on a Saturday evening closed? Well, I'll tell you why. Because once again, we've closed half the roads for yet another protest. And half of them are closed because of cycle lanes and various other measures to make drivers' lives an absolute misery. And now you'll have remembered uh, earlier last year it was revealed that we have the most congested capital city in the world. So congratulations, Carbon Khan. Last night, my partner and I, we were going to go to a department store and spend some money. We were going to go to a restaurant in central London and spend some money. And we were unable to do both. So what did we end up doing? We ended up staying in and not spending money. And then you wonder why businesses are on their knees. You wonder why 
the high street is on its knees. You wonder why we have department stores and high street stores all closing in their droves. Why? Because of the picture. Let's look at that picture again. I think we've got a still of it, actually. Let's look at the picture of what I said. Look at that. Look at that. That is central London on a Saturday evening. Have you ever seen anything like that? A capital city on a Saturday evening, and that's what it looks like. Shame on you, Sadiq Khan, and shame on all of those people that think that closed roads is somehow a way of improving our city, because it just means that most of us are spending time at home and who is suffering? Pubs, restaurants, those are the industries that are on their knees at the moment. And I'm not surprised, because why on earth would you venture out? Imagine being a black cabbie. Imagine being a taxi driver and having to negotiate your way through that. That You just wouldn't bother, you'd stay home. And we wonder why the economy is in the most diabolical state. This week it was announced that we were technically in a recession and you look at that picture, let's look at it again, look at that picture and tell me whether you are surprised that we are in a recession. Just look at that picture. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. I could lost count. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty no entry signs in what is supposed to be the most thriving city in the world. What an absolute load of nonsense. 37, we think we've counted. 37 no-entry signs. By the way, it was worse earlier. That, that's when it's improved. That's when they've opened some of the roads from earlier in the day. Ye gods. Absolutely dreadful. Why? Why is he trying to bring London to a standstill? I have no idea. Probably some cleverer people than I will be able to answer that question. He won't be able to because I'm not sure he gets talk radio and talk TV in the back of his five litre Range Rover. 0344-499-1000 is the number to call if you'd like to join the conversation this morning. Oh, I'm, in, I'm, I'm on one this morning. I really am. That annoyed me. You know, I just want to go out on a Saturday night and you can't, literally. 15-minute city. I'd like to get 15 minutes away. I really would. You know, 15-metre city it's going to be soon. I just won't be able to get to the end of my road. That's it. Unbelievable. 